What up everybody? Not a movie review for you guys. Sorry to disappoint you. It's been a pretty dry 2024. I know we're only in February, but January kind of sucked for rap. Um, the Benny the Butcher album came out, which I was really hyped about, and that album turned out to be in the middle, unfortunately. So I was kind of expecting this Kanye West album to just be a good album. Just something I can listen to, something I'll go back to, nothing... Like, masterpiece-wise, nothing. I basically grew up on Kanye, and my favorite album, I would have to say, to this day is still Graduation. Obviously, College Dropout, Late Registration, great albums, uh, Beautiful Dick, Dick, oh my god, <laughs> Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, um, and Graduation. All four of those albums are great. The last album I have thoroughly enjoyed from Kanye is The Life of Pablo and that was in 2014 2016 I think and that was like back in high school and since then this guy's kind of been on a downward spiral when it comes to music um my name is E uh, Donda I like Jesus by the way my name is E Donda um the, the kids see ghosts the kid Cuddy and Vultures or Ty Dolla Sign. I'm really, really not feeling his newer body of work. Uh, it, it's just, I know Kanye has always been mainstream, but something about these new albums, there's always like a couple of good songs on there. Like this one, there's a couple of songs I do like that I might go back to, but I'm talking like two to three songs at the least. Um, this album, I think, could have been shortened into a, EP with like four or five songs and cut half of the fluff out but they decided to release an 18 17 or 18 track album and like I said only four of these songs I kind of liked um I'll start off with the positives there's some good there's some good bars in here there's some funny bars there's some um creative brat bars that Kanye does do but for the most part it's it's pretty plain and dry it's nothing to really think about um there's some songs of him and Ty Dolly Sign that do work and there's a song uh, I think it's the second song but the beat and like the songs that I chose that I like that I'll go back to they have really good instrumentals uh, really good production really good vocals really good harmonizing and good chemistry with the both of them but for the rest of them, for the rest of the 14 tracks, the the collab between them got really, really stale. At the beginning, I was digging it, and then I got halfway through the album, and I kind of couldn't wait for it to be over. Like, near the middle of the album, I was just completely... I was trying to enjoy it, but the beats that they went with, the production, the, the harmonizing, and how they're doing their singing and their rapping together... It just got really old and stale really fast, and that's why I said I think an LP or EP with like four songs would have been perfect because you wouldn't have gotten too much of that. But unfortunately, we got a whole album and it doesn't really work. There is some good reflecting um, on family drama with Kim Kardashian. There's some good, like I said, good bars, some good emotional bars towards his family. But like, it's just. I'm not expecting Kanye to be as good as he once was, but man, I really think he needs to step up like his his production. His production on Donda and this, they all are just Utopia, Travis Scott style beats, even though Utopia came out after. They're just that they're just really plain, they're really dry, there's not a lot of oomph <clears throat> to them. Then they're just kind of boring to listen to. Even though the beats are different, they kind of sound the same when you listen to them song after song. Um, a lot of the songs just don't have a good flow to them. They don't have a good cadence. And, like, Kanye will just, beautiful bitches don't fall out of the sky, you know. And, like, that's the whole song. Like, I get he's trying to be funny and I get he's trying to say something at the same time. But for a person like me who... I just like old school rap, like Tech 9 Crooked Eye, The Game, Eminem, that kind of rap. 
it just feels like this is so mainstream and so basic. And I know create, uh, how creative Kanye can be. Like, Graduation, to me, is one of the best rap albums ever made. All of his old disc discography is so worth going back to. And when you go to his new shit, it's not like Eminem where I want to turn it off. I don't want to turn it off. I do want to turn it off because it just gets annoying. And it, it, it gets really basic and it gets really dry. And it just sounds the same. So hopefully for his next album, he doesn't do a collab and he keeps it, keeps it just Kanye. Um, I think if he did just Kanye for this album, it would have worked a lot better. But Ty is here and kind of ruins it. Overall, I'll give this album a 5 out of 10. Definitely not a lot of replay value, but hopefully we'll get something better from Kanye down the road. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.